Okay, now we are going to show the operation of the S-Hand butt welding machine. In that case, we are talking the 1.5 meter machine. The first thing we need to do uh, in order to weld correctly according to DVS is to find out what kind of material are you using, uh, what thickness, what length, and then you need to do a very simple calculation in order to have the right welding force. It's always thickness times length times specific welding pressure, that's the welding force. But in order to do this manual welding, we need to divide the welding force, which we have calculated by 90 millimeter. In that case, we have now for 1000 millimeter length and 10 millimeter thickness times 0 0.15 welding force, it's 1500 millimeter, for, sorry, 1500 newton meter divided by 19, that means we need to have 19, se sorry, 17 millimeter uh, welding uh, pressure on the spring. So now the first thing we need to do is we need to have a gap between the tables, between both tables of the thickness of the material we are going to weld. Second thing is after adjusting it to this small gap is the correct clamping. So now you can see that the clamping is of the material is from the left hand side to the right hand side of the table now. And important is that the clamping is done correctly from the left hand side to the right hand side. So that means that you have the same pressure from left to right. And you don't need to have a two hard clamping. So secondly you see the gap is now 20 millimeters that means we have added another 10 millimeter in that case of a gap and now the right plate sheet is now clamped correctly against the left sheet and you do the same correct clamping on the right hand bar so make sure it's parallel and then after that, the welding starts. So he's opening now the right table. He's moving up the heater, the 220, sorry, the 210 degrees. And now he's applying on the spring exactly the 17 millimeter. You can see it now here on the scale. That's the 17, correct? That means now we are applying 1500 Newton meter of welding force by the transmission of the spring inside the welding machine and uh, now the first thing at the, about 50-60 seconds is alignment time so that means we align the material all the way through we heat it all the way through that's about 50-60 seconds in that case you can see it on the table so that is about 50 60 seconds in a few seconds okay I guess we have about the 50 60 seconds reached now we are going down with the spring pressure as you can see here now and at the same time we are starting the countdown time so now we are heating up the material for about a hundred seconds but again with a lower welding force the force the scale is now adjusted to only about two millimeter instead of 17 so that's about 10 percent of it and again it's locked by this lock over here so the wheel is locked to the pressure or to the scale of two millimeters right now and we are just heating the material now up we are heating it all the way through for about a hundred seconds and after the hundred seconds the heater of course will go down again well, you need to put it down manually and then you apply again your 17 millimeter spring pressure 
for the full cooling time. But first, of course, we still need to further heat it up. Another 27, 26 seconds. Okay, very soon you will hear the alarm so that the operator of the machine knows. Okay, now it's the time. You switch it off. Okay, you first open it and now heater down and now you apply the pressure again and again up to, you lock it at 17 millimeter and that's basically now the welding time or actually it's the cooling time as well. So now in that case we need to wait for 16 minutes correctly in order to correctly weld uh, both materials, both sheets together and then it's welded according to DVS. But of course in this example we will not wait the full 16 minutes now. We will break it up after 2-3 minutes in order to show you already the results after some minutes. But again, according to DVS, you need to wait 16 minutes cooling time. So basically, you're only applying pressure now, and at the same time, the material is basically cooling down. Okay, then the first thing you do, you release the pressure about the clamping on both sides first. You open the clamping bars in order to release the pressure. Okay. Alright, and now we're going to open the spring. Okay, and then we remove the workpiece and uh, we can also remove now with a remover here the weld bead on both sides but that, that, that is much much harder if you wait the 16 minutes now it's very hard to remove it then you might need it a milling machine but anyway you can see it's now more or less perfectly welded all the way through but again normally you need to wait a 16 minutes cooling time before you unclamp it and take it out <laughs> 